this is my review of the Pioneer DEHP 8400BH um, Bluetooth and HD radio receiver. This receiver it has uh, USB input on the back of it, it has aux input on the back and then aux on the front, plus it does connect to Bluetooth for your phone and Bluetooth audio. Right now the um, display is out, but because it's a detachable face, you can actually take the um, display with you and prevent theft. Just slide it back in and push it back together. Um, it is uh, right here. If you look up in the corner here, it does come with a microphone and uh, it has a, a visor clip, but I chose not to install on the visor. Instead, just to clip it to the edge so that I could talk to it while I was driving. That's very, very good sound quality. It's hard for people to actually tell that you're in the car. And then over here in the glove box, I actually ran the cable out of a little hole that I cut in the glove box so that I could leave my iPod Touch um, in the glove box. And there's the cable to it. Laying out here on the seat for a quick demo. Um, so let's get started. We'll hit the source button to go ahead and turn it on. Um, first thing up is the tuner. If you can see that. And by the way, the I've got the illumination set to change colors, so you'll see the buttons changing colors. And this this uh, display will actually remain steady. It just went from red to orange, and it just gradually goes through all the colors. Um, right now, we're we're in Atlanta, and this is on um, Star 94, um, 94.1. Um, I'm showing you this is because 94 is a three broadcast HD station, and we're on the digital part of that station right now. You can see um, it's on HD1, channel 1. It's actually telling you Domino by Jesse J. Um, it shows you the signal strength, and, and my phone is connected also by Bluetooth. If I was to hit the up button once, it would go to the HD2 station on WSTR, which is still Star 94, and then once more it would go to the HD3 version of that station before it would actually jump up to you know, the next station in the range. 94.9 um, also broadcasts in HD. Uh, you can go up. This is just a regular analog 95.5 is WSB here in Atlanta. Moving on uh, to another feature, of course the, the tuners, just something that's really really nice about this, but um, I did want built-in HD radio. Uh, aux one is that, that front aux input. Um, there's another aux in the back. I don't have anything connected to it. Um, right now, this is on Bluetooth audio. It's connected to, oh, sorry, let me go back scroll back through it. We're, we're connected to uh, my Nokia Lumina, Lumia phone, which uh, is a Windows phone. And you can see right there, or this is Flowrider um, whistle. And I can scroll through the different songs on there. If I go to my um, music and video player, you can actually watch movies and stream audio. So right now you can see um, music and go through the, the different movie selections. You could uh, you know, watch a watch a show or something if you wanted to. It would stream out audio over the speakers. So um, it will also uh, answer and, and make calls. Um, you can hit the button in the middle to answer the call while it's up. Uh, let's move on to the next feature. We'll go ahead and, and take. Uh, we can do this. We'll take this um, iPod and go ahead and plug it in. Let's just see what it looks like. Um, it will change over to Pandora and actually launch the Pandora app. It shows you uh, this is what's called Poker Face Radio. It's one of my Pandora stations. And uh, this is Black Eyed Peas. And you can actually go through. I've already hit a thumbs up on this one. You can see it right there on the edge. Um, but you would just hit this button right here to go thumbs up. I like how it flashes around, shows you everything. Um, one of the, the features, this also does play straight USB, um, but it does immediately launch Pandora. And you have no control once the Pandora and the Pioneer is launched. You don't have any control over what you want to do. So let's say I was just to unplug it. I could play it from there. Okay, and one of the other features that I like that I finally figured out how to get it back on USB, but one of the other features, it's on the, the USB source right now. Um, if you scroll through, that's Bluetooth audio, the tuner, and then we'll go to USB. Um, your iPod screen just shows you that it's got an accessory connected. 
I've got the mix on, so when you hit this mix button, you can see the mix track comes up and everything starts flashing in different colors. Um, the sound is just incredible when it's on mix track. It will find, it'll play um, little sounds in between music, so the music is connected better to each other. Hear that sound as you go through each one. And uh, still continues to flash, and the flashing is actually tuned in with the music. Uh, one thing I didn't mention earlier, I mean, it obviously has the CD player in it for CDs, CDRWs, MP3s, um, any sort of file that you want to put on a CD, it should pick that up and read it. So, um, very functional, full-featured uh, receiver. Extremely happy with it at this point. Um, the one other thing that it did come with is a remote control. Um, which uh, you just kind of sort of memorize the buttons and you know turn the volume up. Uh, sound mutes anyway when you have a call coming in you can answer it but you also have call answer and receive buttons on here as well. Um, you can change your display so that it shows you what it's playing. This is Red Solo Cup, the Glee cast. Um, you just hit cycle through the display to show you what you want to see. Um, Overall, very, very happy with it and uh, would highly recommend it.